Oof. Hey, that didn't say you could hydraulically jack yourself up. My chair. Off, off, everyone, off! No, 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 no. That's a nice reference for those of you who are old enough to understand. For those of you who aren't, ask those of you who are. For those of you who are, who care to explain, explain to those of you who aren't. Now, proceeding on with this deleteriously delinquent psycho babble, I would like to explain something I know about magnets. They're not simple pieces of rock that uh, have their own magnetic field around them. A field of polarized and aligned, polarically charged subatomic particles known as electrons ambulating around in a field of energy which you call an electromagnetic field. Magnets aren't just that. And the reason for which they appear to last so fucking long um, I don't know if it's true or not. I haven't looked into it. The last time I heard something about a magnet losing its magnetism, its charge, it was hypothesized that it took several million years. This is at a natural decay rate for any type of radiation. It takes a very long stretch of continuance for it to decay, for it to lose its energetic charge. That's because a magnet is a type of planetary constructed battery. And it takes so long for them to naturally lose their charge. Oh, good for you. And I have calculated the possibility that extracting that charge from a magnet and magnets are something that can be made on a factory assembly line just ask anyone who um, works with the uh, not the distribution facility that sells and distributes neodymium magnets but the the company that manufactures them you can craft and charge a magnet with its own electrical charge which is uh, measured by the magnetic field it emits in a matter of moments really but let's say you wanted to take that battery, as I'm calling it, and actually extract the electromagnetic energy in a um, conventional use, such as lighting or powering electronic devices, such as computers, televisions, radios, for fuck's sake. Well, it's, it's really quite simple. The, the technology to do that has been in place for... I have no fucking idea how long, because I haven't bothered to give a fuck to look at the history regarding that particular subject matter. But I, I am quite aware of how to extract the electrical charge, which is manifested as a form of uh, magnetic radiation from 
the magnet itself, the earth battery itself, and transform it into usable electrons flowing through whatever conductive media. Most of the time people think copper, but I believe that the standard electrical lines are made out of something else. Never bothered to ask what the fuck the electrical lines are made of. But they look grayish instead of yellowish. Either way, the knowledge of how to extract the electromagnetic charge as a usable form of electricity from a magnet is quite simple. It's already been known. It's already been in place. Humanity just refuses to use it. You fucking morons want to use something highly unstable like nuclear fucking fission fusion. And what happened with that? Well, you started the fucking Cold War. Just because, oh wow, nuclear material, go boom. Go boom big time. We can use this to intimidate other people into doing what we want them to do. Thus, you started the Cold War. Thus proving you humans can't fucking be trusted with any level of technology because you're all a bunch of fucking mongoloidal terrorists. And you wonder why you can't find any alien civilizations. You haven't even mastered the fucking basics of electromagnetism. Speaking technologically, let's go one step back from that and go to something simpler. Basic social interactions. You haven't even mastered the basics of those. You fucking humans are retarded. You want to jump into space exploration without exploring your own fucking backyard first. You haven't even finished exploring the fucking oceans on this planet. You know more about the fucking dark side of the moon than you know about the depths of any of the veins and trenches and sub-oceans of your own fucking world. Let me paraphrase something I said in a past life. Um, master yourself before you try to master someone else, dipshit. Yeah, you know, you're telling dipshit number two over there that they've got something stuck in their eye, yet you can't see the, uh, the fucking log you crammed into your own eye, dumbass. Eh, whatever. Believe it or not, I don't fucking care. Point in case, you bitches haven't mastered the fucking basics. Yet you want to do all this dumb, elaborate shit. Before you can have a so-called economy, you have to have mastered the basics of just social interaction. You know, treating other people as you want them to treat you. That so-called golden rule. But then again, you are only human. A meandering, pointless, neanderlithic mongoloid. Incapable of thinking. So what should I expect from any of you? Other than the pathetic, pointless, meandering nothingness that your existence already is.
But if any of you are interested in any sort of um, <clears throat> exploration of extracting the uh, electromagnetic energy from a magnet in the form of a usable electricity instead of just the electromagnetic radiation, let me know. Because I'll work with you. I'll definitely help you. It may not be self-sustaining, but it is far more eco-friendly and renewable than everything else combined.